What in God's name is going on in here? 52. Alright, you guys ready to do it? Doing it? Doing it, Johnny? Do it, man. Do it. Do it. Alright, man. Eight. Episode eight. eight, dude. Hey, dude, we're doing this shit. Dude, we keep trucking Coming along, in. huh? Yeah, it's it's we we still have microphones, so we're just gonna that's, talk that's, into that's, them. That's a, that's you know, they a, said we weren't. Bad thing. They said we weren't gonna get this far. Yeah, who's they? That's what they said. Who's they? You know, <laughs> <laughs> they said we couldn't get this far. That is what Made they it. said. Yeah, yeah, that's what they said. Made it, dude. Eight, eight in a row, man. That's cool. I'm excited. Yeah, dude. It's I'm been excited. it's yeah. been a lot of fun so yeah. far. I yeah. think it's gonna keep being it's, fun. It's been a hell of a career. Yeah, yeah, we might as well hang it up now. Actually, hey, this is the fifty-two well, well, podcast. Yeah, Adios. Yeah, yeah. We're on top, man. Stop. We're on top. On yeah, top. No. But, we're, but we also are award-winning now, man. We got an award-winning podcast we now. Are. Thanks to Johnny. We are. Johnny's made us an award-winning podcast. Hey, I was two medals. Award about two medals. Got two. Hey, the old chopper. The old chopper. Oil leak won a uh, a bike contest. That's the That's, official name. It was at the bombshell rally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big deal. It won best shovel head. Yeah, it won best chopper. I'm talking finally got awesome. it. Finally so, got it. So, so we are we're prize winners. Uh, we made it for all of us. Yeah, we got to get those medals duplicated, and we'll uh, yeah hang a couple. Yeah, I, need, of, I just uh, need to bring them up. Yeah, we'll hang them up we'll on hang the wall. Them up. We'll hang right them here. up on the wall as a uh, as a big winner. Because uh, we've been waiting for that award. World League keeps getting passed up, man. You know, it, passed yeah, up. It, oh, it's been passed over a few yeah. times, hasn't it? Yeah, it finally had its time. It's time to shine. Zed's dead, baby. Hey, so. You know, we're talking about award-winning, mm-hmm. you know, our career <laughs> as, uh, you know, podcast hosts. What about a guy like Tom Brady, who um, <laughs> he signs a $375 million, maybe I'm wrong on the number, but it's big, though, Yeah, to be an announcer. Yep. yep. Nobody, no one knows if he can announce. Nobody knows if he can talk yet. Yep. We don't know if he can talk. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I, I, I'm sure the guy... There's nothing he can't. There's nothing that guy can't do, man. That dude's gold at everything he does, man. Damn. But anything he touches, touches turns gold, man. I mean, he 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 checks the handsome box. You know what for I mean? Sure. He's a good looking sure. guy. He, good looking guy for hey, sure. He's, he's, Absolutely, man. Family man, good guy. Family for what I gather. Good ages family backwards. Guy. Ages. Benjamin Button. He Benjamin is the Button. Benjamin Button. Oh, yeah. That's right. And he's on that same. Uh, I don't know if you heard about it. I was watching this uh, another podcast. I was watching, and uh, uh, Deer Dick, uh, Rob Deer Dick from Ridiculousness was on there. And he said that he uh, does some kind of spiritual stuff and keeps him young, keeps his joints young. He goes, I think he said that Tom Brady's on the same regimen where they uh, they eat right and uh, they don't drink, they don't do all this stuff, and it's just like it goes in where like their their body rejuvenates. It doesn't. So, you know. so I've watched some of Tom's Brady stuff, and he has a guy that does these special deep tissue massages and his food is special and everything. It, it really is. It's not by accident what he no, does. No, no, absolutely. Yeah, and, you know, he makes his shake and he pinches off the ends of the bananas because the ends of the bananas are no good or something. I mean, it's just, mm-hmm. it's ridiculous. But, I mean, results, right? It shows. Shows on the field, man. Oh. But, yeah. You, to, you, to, can't, uh, you, you obviously can't knock it because, I mean, oh, no. the, the, the dude has achieved some pretty spectacular things, you know. Well, you know, it was funny. Because even I think even Tom Brady made the comment, you know, Ben Roth, Roethlisberger, Roethlisberger yeah. retired. Yeah, he goes, we did it two different ways. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though; they don't call him Big Ben for no reason. <laughs> they did it two different ways, man. Yeah. It was out there just running wide open. But, <laughs> That's true. No, hey. no, but that, I'm looking forward to seeing when he does retire and when he does um, gets on that behind that mic, man. It can't be no. I mean, if 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 fuck if uh, what's his name. Oh, um, Hope, hopefully he lasts longer than Witten. Yeah, for sure. Or uh, what's his guy? Man, Cowboys uh, quarterback. What's his name? Romo. I mean, Romo. 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 If he does better than. I think he can do better than Romo. I mean, Romo is pretty damn good. He Romo, can call Romo's a play. Good. I don't think he. I, I'll be honest with you. He's not going to do better than Romo. You know Ro- so? I think Romo is he's solid man. One of the best. I really do. I, I, I really do yeah. too. Romo is like a. Uh, he's almost like he has the playbook or something. When he, it's when weird. He yeah, yeah. He's. He can call he'll, it shit. He can call it. He'll call the play. He'll call the side. He'll call yeah. everything about it. Oh, and uh, yeah, Drew Brees, man. He's thinking about coming back, man. Drew Brees thinking about throwing his hat back in the in the ring. In the not in announcing playing no. football. I can football. play. Come out of retirement. He said he wants to come back out of retirement, man. So uh, we'll I don't see. know if that's a good move. NBC NBC said it was a good move. NBC said nah. <laughs> NBC said we're out. You could take him. They they, they they colored up. They were like we're 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 gonna cash out. We're done. <laughs> yeah, that you know. Guy. Hey, as long as people still, you know, it, it's turning into 
um, what people are interested in, right? If the fans want to see it, they want to see it. I mean, we still have Mike Tyson fighting right now. Same. You know, we still have not Floyd, on the plane. Floyd Mayweather yeah. fighting right now. Yeah. There's better guys, but oh, no yeah. one cares. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What sure. sells? You know what, what I mean? Sells? And, and sells? so all these boxing matches now are uh, exhibition mm -hmm. fights. Yep. It's nothing to do with the championship. Who's the champion? Hell, I don't know. I'm watching this exhibition fight. Yep. yep. And it's uh, they got ridiculous rules. They all man. take turns fighting Logan Paul. Or whatever <laughs> yeah, right now, he's just taking yeah. fighting him. He's that YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like they have the rules. You can't hit in the head, or you can't hit. You know, you can't. There's certain rules they got with the exhibition shit. It's can we fight Logan Paul on the Fifty Two podcast? <laughs> if it's an exhibition fight, you can. Yeah, because it's it's either going to be scripted or there's a, a list too long of things you can't do. Hey, we'll do it like uh, a rally said. We'll just run it live. Let's do it live. Don't do live. Let's do it live. Oh man, it's fighting. Let's see what happens, man. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Exhibition match brought to you by the 52. <laughs> People are just listening. It's just a bunch of noise in the background. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta when, it, when it's done, none of us are talking. Logan Paul's talking. We're, we're all done. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would make it, I would make it probably half of one round. Realistically, I would make it half of one round. And, and uh, without even getting how would hit, you do this? Hold on, how would you hold on, do hold on. This? Without even getting hit and without hitting anyone, the gloves would be too heavy after half of one round. <laughs> When did shit? You know that that's a serious deal because it's heavy. You know because these guys, what is it? Is it sixteen ounce gloves? Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. sixteen ounce, a pound. Yeah, yeah. So you're carrying two pounds. Dance around, mm -hmm. just dance around, holding your hands up with with, with two pounds. With two pounds, get tired, man. You'll drop your guard. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. real quick, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, real quick. Yeah. Look, my I, my fighting stance would start with my hands up by my face, like you know, like this right here, and then just like slowly throughout the first. Not the first round, the first half round. First half round. Uh, yeah, my, slowly. Mm -hmm. my, and then by the, by the end of the first half round, I'm just. <sighs> hey, and let, let me just say for, for, the, uh, for the listening world out there, you just missed out on Trent showing us his fighting stance. It, it, because it was it's, it's it's pretty, impressive. It's pretty spectacular, yeah. to be honest with Spot you. Spot on, man. It's pretty oh, spectacular. Oh, yeah. You don't want to see me in the ring for five seconds. <laughs> After five seconds or so, you could take me. That's, that's man, cool. boxers, man. They're, they're tough guys. And they're in shape. You know, you can't forget that. You ever been hit with a with a, a boxing glove? Yes, it's a sixteen ounce boxing glove. I've been. Hit, I don't know what size. We yeah, we, yeah. we used to have um, boxing gloves back in football practice <laughs> in the old days. I, they can't do this in school now. But two guys get in a beef, the football coach would just get the boxing gloves out and put them in the mm -hmm. together and just mm -hmm. beat on each other. Yeah, we my uh, we my did. parents bought us uh, gloves, and that's how we had to settle arguments. We, we we settled arguments by putting on boxing gloves, going out the, going out the front yard, and uh, and just duking it out, you know, snot bubbles and all, you know, just. I, just I had a set as a kid. I had a set. Uh, we bought them at the True Value Hardware Store, and <laughs> they they were there, and uh, they were signature edition Sugar Ray Leonard oh, boxing yeah. gloves. They were Hell red yeah, and white. Dude. Hell yeah, yeah, that's cool. I thought I was I thought I was a boxer, little kid. You ever been hit with a boxing glove, Keith? Uh, no, I always did my things the old-fashioned way, you know, with the <laughs> with a fist, fist, and a, bare and, knuckle and a box. shoe, and a shoe and shit, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, I missed it, but I missed those days, man. Where you, I missed those days where you kids could solve their problems. You know, I'm not saying that's the way violence is not the way to solve things, but to, back in the day when we were kids, man, that was a way to to handle it. The, you know, you were getting picked on, you you punched that kid in the face, and it was done, and it was over, and then you guys became friends. It's like my yeah. bully, the bully that I had when I was a kid, because I was a fat kid, so I got picked on because I was a fat kid. And uh, the bully I had tried to pick on me, punched him in the mouth. We became best friends. And to this day, we still talk, man. And we were having a conversation. Uh, me and him were having a conversation um, this past weekend. We were discussing, you know, I had asked him, I said, man, remember we used to go to this movie theater when we were kids? You know, you know what was the name of that movie theater? But it's just crazy how that guy was picking on me, you know, over 30 years ago. And now we're best friends still talking. And it's just, it's, it's cool that you can in you can make a long life friend over just you know a fight and you you, you respect it's respect yeah. the two guys you know to respect the two I mean I, I fought uh, we, I, yeah. I grew up across the street from uh, uh one of my you know one of my best friends growing up and uh you know unfortunately we don't really talk anymore and it has nothing to do with ill feelings it's just we, you know we just grew apart life, and we yeah. just don't life, you know yeah, yeah li life happened but um you know one of my best friends uh grew, grew up across the street and dude we would fight all the time we we, we would literally fight all the time and it was almost like this like mutual understanding of if uh you know if there's 
uh, if there's a you know a conflict about something, then then we'll fight. I remember this one particular time um, we were arguing, and my older brother was uh, was sitting on the trampoline back behind us, and uh, and he goes, "Why don't y'all just fight it out?" And we were both like, "Ah, you know, whatever." And then he goes, "He goes, just fight it out." And so we we're like, "Okay, fine." And uh, and so we, we get ready to fight, and uh, the dude runs up on me and pushes me, and I tripped backwards over a tree stump. Oh shit! And uh, and fell backwards. And my brother thought that that was a, a, a low blow, so he starts yelling at him, and then the other dude starts <laughs> the other dude starts running off, and my brother picked up a rock to scare him, and he threw it, and it hit him in the back of the head. Oh shit, dude! It's gonna be a fucking. Oh, dude, it was it was it was pretty. But I mean, y'all oh, killed yeah. the guy or what? Yeah, did you kill? Him? <laughs> did y'all bury it? Uh, next topic. So uh, n- no, <laughs> no the, literally the next day he comes back over and we're hanging out yeah. again. You know, but right. you know what though? You know what the problem is? <clears throat> you hear me say this? I said it before. Social media has changed so much because what happens now is social media perpetuates that situation instead yeah. of letting you guys be friends. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. now two kids get in a fight and all their friends are sending pictures. No. Look, man, look what happened. Blah, blah, it become, blah, blah. It becomes a gang and war. So they become, yeah, be, then they become enemies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just, and, and, not, and not just the two of them. It becomes like, the, you know, like the... The people that side with this guy versus the right. people that side right. with this guy. Teams yeah. sides and shit. Yeah. People yeah. that weren't even involved. Oh, yeah, they weren't even there. At all. Yeah, they weren't even there. Yeah, putting their two cents in. And, and just to be clear, uh, when I said I was getting blue because I was a fat kid, I'm still a fat kid. So I just, did nothing changed. Nothing's changed. Life's the same, man. Still fat and love it, dude. Love eating. I was a love fat beer. kid and now I'm just a fatter kid. Yeah. So I think the, love the, eating. the 52 endorses fighting it out. Uh, we, our, we endorse stance. We endorse fighting and stance? childhood obesity. That's what we endorse. We endorse it. Yep. We endorse it. Yep. Friendly violence. How about that? Yeah. We, we, we endorse friendly violence. Uh, combat sports. Combat. I'm okay with that. Friendly combat violence. Right. We're good. Work it out. Combat therapy. So go fight your friend. <laughs> <laughs> go, go now. Just uh, fight it out. Fight it out. Yeah. And then sue each other uh, for defamation. Uh, as long as it doesn't involve defecation. Amber Heard denied that today, by the way. Oh, yeah. She said it all. It all are, you, are you still watching? She said, uh, she's, I, I watched some highlights of it today. Low it's lights. I watched the low lights. Hey, today. so uh, another hot topic right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Texas here, we have an escaped convict. Oh, is he still on the bus? He's, he's on the loose. I know he took a bus, right? He's on the loose somewhere around uh, the Centerville area, I think. Oh, that's close. That's good. They got good barky out there, too. Yeah, man. they do. In the barky spot. So yeah, that's where he's at. Yeah. Probably at the barky spot. I would be there. I escaped. Yeah, if, anybody, if anybody sees him, just fight it out. He's got barbecue yeah. sauce all over his mouth. I don't know. I, they got good jerky know. over there, too. That jerky's pretty damn good, too. Yeah. Oh, he's a Mexican mafia guy? Affiliated with yeah, okay. Mexican okay. mafia. Okay. Uh, they say he's a bad dude. Yeah. You need to get him off the streets, man. Wait, so is, is Mexican mafia the same as MS-13, or MS-13 is just a gang? That's not necessarily the Mexican mafia. I think it's a two different thing. I think they're two different know. things. Oh, yeah, I think they're two different things, but... uh yeah, when I saw that story, I was like, "Holy shit, dude, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty close to home. That's pretty. You know, that's not yeah. too far away. You know, that's like you know what, hundred something miles away. It ain't too far. No, about a uh, sixty, seventy yeah, miles. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, I know the what, hour drive. Yeah. He could yeah. be here now. He could be here. Bring it home. Is there somebody outside the window? <laughs> no. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come on in. Uh, yeah, bring him in, dude. Bring him in. We got another mic. We'll we set it up. Set up another mic. We get the story. We get his side of the shit. Yeah, let's dude. get his side of the <laughs> story. Your side of the shit, dude. What they do to you. <laughs> hey, if there's a reward, I'm locking that door, though. <laughs> hey. Call the cops. There he is. There he is. Relatively a young cat, man. A young guy, man. It's a shame. It's a shame. Yeah, put- so he was going to a uh, medical appointment or something, mm-hmm. overpowered, the gar- like a planned deal. It was planned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another thing too, dude, is uh, you know, we need to do at some point at, at here at the fifty two here. We needed to bring in. Uh, we met some new friends because of Johnny. I met some new friends the other day, and I need to bring this lady that does the IVs. Man, we got to do the IVs. Oh man! So we heard about this. You know, this is the new thing that's going around now. Are, are these? Um, you get an IV, and it's a custom IV, right? Whether you're yeah. hung you're, over, you're going for an athletic yeah. event, you yeah. want to get super hydrated, or mm-hmm. the big thing is people that are hung over, yeah. right? It's a big one. And they get an IV, and it's supposed to spring you back like 100%. So at the 52, we've decided that we would uh, experiment. Yeah, we need to. We need to bring, get them up here. So what do we have to do first? Get ripped? Either get, either get ripped, or uh, if we got, to, if you got a, if you got a, uh, what was it, a headache? Not a headache, but what's the thing? Migraine. 
you got a migraine or you got you're just feeling kind of uh kind of slumpy or something man they I, need, I need to try the migraine thing because yeah. i actually yeah. do get ocular migraines that'll wipe me out for the day so what if we got these guys on mm-hmm. uh i mean we could talk with an iv in right Give oh yeah play by play yeah. see if we're Squish bouncing it. back squish the bag yeah. Yeah. we need to do uh a, instead of doing you know one big episode we need to do two small episodes and uh the first episode will be about three beers in we'll start at about three beers in we'll get another you know three or four in us in the podcast and we'll just get schlitzed on the uh podcast we'll go home go to sleep come back up here hung over stick yeah. the ivs in yeah. and do the second half of the podcast we need to do that like I said, we got, I, got, I got contact info, so we can do that. We can pull it off. I want to I see if that works. I really yeah. do want to see if that works. I, yeah. Rejuvenate. I heard it does. Even if, even, and, and I'm just going on a limb here. I haven't even talked to you guys about this, but even if we had them on, literally just to talk to them about how this works, what they offer, what it is, whatever, I think it would be, be an interesting conversation. I really do. Yeah, yeah it's, I think it's, so. It's I a new so thing. It's popping up in, in different yeah. places, and they're even going, these folks don't, Maybe they do, but mm-hmm. they don't necessarily. You don't have to go to their storefront. Oh no, they come to you. It's mobile. It's mobile. Yeah, they come to wow. you. It's very yeah. mobile now. It's a uh, it's a very cool thing. It's a very cool setup. Like I said, I was uh very interested. We were chatting with the lady there. I forget her name, but she was awesome. Uh, she said, "Just let me know when you're ready." She goes, "We'll we'll pull up. We'll pull up to wherever location you're at." And, we'll, we'll get and, and what, she, what's and the name of this nurse? Place? She's a nurse. She left yeah. she left her field as a nurse mm-hmm. uh, to get involved in this business mm-hmm. because. She said, "It's I'm, I'm helping people. Yeah. I'm out. I, I I do as well as I did as a nurse, and I'm doing something different." And Ivy like, League, Ivy yeah. League, Ivy League. So much of a dad joke right there. <laughs> Ivy League. They need a sponsor, us, man. Put a sponsor. Yeah, you can pump me in. You can pump me up with anything they want to, man. But give me a sponsor. Anything. Man, man just about it. Dangerous. But no, we need to try that, man. I think we need to do that on our next. Uh, our next big big binge that we do, we got to do that. Try that out. Yeah, mobile IV. We got we got IV agents. people. We got state senators want to hang out with us. We got all kinds of folks want to hang out with us and chit chat, dude. That's gonna be good. Where are they based out of? What what is? Uh, I think of the Woodlands. I think it's in the Woodlands. The okay. Woodlands, yeah. All right. It ain't cheap, but it's worth it though. It's not cheap, but I think you've all. I think everyone out there at some point. You may have not. You may not have had that money in your pocket. But you felt like you would spend it because you felt so bad, <laughs> right? That vitamin C, man. I want to get that vitamin C shot, man. That's so, hungry, that's the, so the the starter, a mm-hmm. hundred dollars sodium sodium chloride, point nine percent. God, <laughs> two eighty five. I'm in the wrong business. No shit, right? Man. Me too. That IV. I'm gonna be honest. I've had some headaches. <laughs> Been hungover. Yeah. It's not. I don't know if I've had a two hundred eighty-five dollar <laughs> get rid of it headache. Maybe. Hey, I mean, my yeah, I mean, yeah. close, close, yeah. but man, man, that that, that migraine that, kicker two fifty. That wallet ache. Man, I, I I will say I have had I've had migraines that I would pay five hundred dollars oh, yeah. to get, get rid of it. Off. Yep. I, I mean, because it, it, it I go blind, uh, and I I can't function. And then I get nauseous and I just throw up. Mm. It's mad, it's really bad. Hey, I'll tell you the first time I was out of town traveling for work. I was in a hotel. Um, I guess I'd never had a migraine in my life to the, to that point. I mean, I, yeah. If you asked me to that point, I would say, yeah, yeah, I've had a migraine. I had a bad headache, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. but I thought I was dying. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't see. Um, there was part of my field of vision went black. Yeah, and my head didn't hurt yet. Right, I just that's start, a migraine. I started to lose vision. That's a migraine. And I, hey, I thought I was going to stroke out or something. I didn't and, know what was going when the, on. And then when the headache comes, it's like a dull pain that just lingers or whatever. And every sensation just sort of like, like uh, emphasizes the you know the um, dull pain. I didn't like light. That's it. That's what I didn't like. That's light. it. Cold. Light. Keep yeah. it cold. It, it, and that's off. that's one of my pet peeves. And if you're listening to this, uh, and 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 you do this. St- Stop, because it's not mm. I, I, one of my pet peeves is when somebody says, oh, I get migraines all the time. I was like, mm. oh, okay, describe them for me. And they're mm. like, oh, it's just a really bad headache. And I'm like, oh, then you don't get migraines. You get really bad headaches. <laughs> yeah. You get really bad headaches uh, because a migraine is, is, uh, is, is something different. It has to do with like your brain and like the, like, uh, the, uh, it's like neurological. Driving down the road wouldn't have been a good idea. 
at that point. I, I, on multiple occasions, I've had to. I've been driving to work, and and had to stop at uh, a Valero uh, right off of uh, uh, right off of 150. If you're headed out uh, headed out of uh, Conroe, Texas, um, I had to stop at that Valero, and and literally not move because I could not get, see. Because you get migraines all the time. No, oh. just occasionally. I was just checking to see if you were that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just really bad headaches. Actually, it's really bad headaches. Yeah. No, but I, I've I've really had to pull over because I I couldn't see, you know, and your day is ruined because you like you 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 have this and then you have the pain and then God forbid if it's bad enough you get super nauseous right. and uh, oh man I yeah talk about something else you want to switch gears man, switch, switch gears, gears. we're going we're going the wrong way let's go we're going the wrong direction here we gotta you know we're going down the bad road there no. kids man growing up being a kid you know when did you get to go on the town like when would you get dropped off at. Would you get dropped you off? You know what? At? Like if your parents yeah. like were, were, you were taking you know, somewhere yeah, and you drop the like first time you're yeah, with like, no adults. Yeah, no adults. You got to do whatever the hell you wanted to. Mine, mine you was uh, was it called Rain? Not Rainbow Silver Wings. It was a roller rink. Do do kids still do roller rink? I think so. I think they do. It, you know what it was? It was a lock in. Ooh, remember a lock in? You get. You gotta stay, spend the night and yeah, shit. They lock the doors. You stay there, and then the parents come and pick you up in the morning. You can't uh, hardly do lock ins no more. No, I, I would. You know, <laughs> seeing them lock in babies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saying this, I'm thinking of how terrible of an idea it is. Yeah. It's such a bad <laughs> plan B lock in. It's a terrible idea. We did it though. No, it, but you, you were, but but we, like I said, that 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 uh, Jesus, that generation is more civilized, and they were just. Like, you were excited to be out of the house, be away from yeah. the parents, just to, just to experience that freedom of being away from the parents. You know, yeah, it was Silver Wings Ballroom. It was a roller skate rink, obviously. That's still there? No, 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 it's not there anymore. Strip mall now? You know, I don't mall. even know what it is. I don't even know if the building's there now. But, you know, I couldn't sk roller skate that good. I mean, you could roller skate. It wasn't yeah. about, I don't know what I did. Hung out, I guess. You want to know what it is? Those, those lock-ins and that experience you're talking about, yeah. That was our social media. Yeah, that was because our social media didn't exist, and so when you were away from your parents and mm -hmm. uh, and and you were around your friends for you know extended periods of time, that's and, where and you knew together and talk yeah. and you meet new people and all this kind of stuff. That was like yeah. your social experience, yeah. and lock ins don't happen anymore because. Yeah. All of that is taken care of online. So you get a bunch of kids together overnight. It's not going to be talking and meeting new friends. <laughs> no, because the meeting is already done, right? They've already done it. Yeah. Right. That is makes that sense. One? Is that the one, Johnny? Silver okay. Wings Ballroom. Oh, that's it. Is that it? Is that it, really? <laughs> that's, that's it. it. That's where it went down right there. <laughs> no, they had uh, a... Yeah. yeah, you can't do... That. I know they had lock-ins when we had, were in school. We had the lock-ins... Uh, uh, Oh, they're still open, man. They're still we can go. Look at that. We can go over there and recreate a moment there. But where is that one? Slow dance. Oh, okay. There were two. Oh, there were, there two. were okay. two. And that's the original. Okay. Um, I went to a different one in Huntsville. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, nice. So, the, so, so maybe, maybe the one in Huntsville. Rhythm, they're still they're still rolling strong over yeah. there. It's, <laughs> they're still dad they're still locking in over there. Yeah, they're still rolling. They're still locking in over there. Lock the, lock, lock the door. Lock the door. They used to do that. Um, I know in high, not in high school. I think it was like middle school. We used to do that thing with with the lock in dance and what we used to do those things too. Those were those were interesting. You know, kids go to sleep. You know, by mid one two two o'clock in the morning, everybody's asleep and shit. Nobody's fucking awake no more. So what about you? you? Me? Oh man, let's see. Oh, you know, I used to work. I used to work summers, and you know, used to. So I would save my money. I was like a little squirrel. I save my money and have money put up and um. Bury them nuts. Yeah. Oh yeah. You gotta keep them nuts uh nice and warm and toasty. Um. I got dropped off at a place uh, where it had uh, the batting cages. It had the putt putt. It had the arcade. It had the uh, the roller rink. It had all. It was like a whole thing. It was like a complex thing. And um, this was in Austin when I grew up in Austin. And uh, we had a movie theater right next door. The movie theater was called Aquarius Theater. Uh, and that's where I got dumped off. Man, I was dumped off like twelve years old. Twelve years old, I get dumped off there. Uh, I had shit. 20, 30 bucks in my pocket, burning a hole in my pocket, man. I was ready to have a good time. I go in there and get some pizza. And, and back then, dude, shit was cheap. So you could get pizza. You could buy your friends a hey, Coke. 20 or $30 yeah, went a long, went a long way. way. You huh? could get your friend a Coke. You could buy your buddies a Coke. And that's where we all met up. And it, the thing wasn't about, back then for me, it wasn't like hanging out with girls and things like that. It was like hanging out with my boys, hanging out, uh, talking shit, you know, 
uh, you know, pantsing people, you know, when you pull their pants down and shit, we were pantsing people and shit. That's the kind of shit we were doing, man. Yeah. So, see, yeah, that's the, it's a theater. I grew up a queer so, theater right so there. So what man. about, uh, like you get picked up? Yeah. Like at, like at 12 or 11 or yeah. what, what, something like so, that. So I would get dumped off. You know, I would, you know, I wanted to get, uh, we all got there early. So you get dumped off about six, you know, six o'clock, you know, you had your fresh, you had your, you had your, uh, new shoes, new sneakers on, new pants. And you were, you know, your, your pants were ironed and shit. They had that crease and shit. The pants could stand up by themselves and shit. You know, you get dumped off, man. You hang out with your buddies and shit. You know, that's a cool looking place, man. I know, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. Look at that Aquarius it's Theater, like, man. That's that. Wow. that, that no one memories, touched, dude. No one touched my Z Cavalry. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yes, we had those, man. We had those. They had the hundred zippers on them pants, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what I did. I got dumped off at the roller rink. It was like I said, comp. Uh, at the complex there, we got all kinds of things. We played, you know, a little baseball, a little putt putt, all that good stuff. And uh, you know, you just have a good time with your boys and have a, you know, just arcade the whole thing. Man, it was just it was fun. It was innocent fun, man. There was no bullshit. There was no fighting. Yeah, none of that. Dude, it was just hanging out with your buddies outside of school. And that that was the that was the fun part, being able to be with your friends outside of school, where you you know you yeah. you could talk. And it was, bullshit. That was that was, yeah. that was your social outlet. Yeah, you get away. Yeah, yeah. You know, you get away, and you could be you. And there was no parents around. You know, you could, you could cuss. I mean, you know, for me, that's a big deal. So you could cuss and, you know, just be you. And, and then we, like I said, it was very innocent. There was no like drugs or cigarettes or nothing. No, it was just having fun. You, you know, there was some of that around fun. too. I remember that, but you know, that wasn't the deal. No. The, the, the guys that were, you know, trying to share drugs or something, that was a small little group, just a small little group that, yeah. that, uh, yeah. You know, it wasn't the mainstream. You know, every, most kids were there to have a good time yeah, and, was. and to be be good kids. Yeah, really, just hanging out, man. I said, uh, like I said, for fight me, a little, fight a little. He did fight a little. We talked a little, talk a little, little, talk a little trash. You know, you know, do a little shove around. But it was other than that, it was just innocent fun, man. You just wanted to hang out with your buddies outside of school, man, because that's where you got to talk and uh, get to know one another, man. And um, I miss those times, man. But like I said, that's the reason why that came up to me is because, like I said, my friend. That when we did fight and he was the bully of me, uh, his name is Ricky. He used to he tried to bully me, slapped him around, gave him a little shove around, and then we're best friends. And like I said, we were talking about that on the phone the other day. And he's like, and then we were talking about the roller rink and all that stuff and the things we did. And it was just it was nice for us to kind of catch up. And it was because we don't talk because he's got a family, you know, he's got kids and he's got life going, and I do too. And you know, I've been trying to get him up here to where I work at over here at this water hole, but it's just uh it's too far. He's got kids, but uh but you, anyway, anyway, you're talking yeah. about you're talking about uh, getting to cuss or whatever. That was like the age where like you're learning how to cuss, right? So like you you hear cuss words, but then you don't you, you don't use hey, them right. You're hey, like you're hey. like I'm gonna kick him in the damn, you know, or yeah. something like that. Hey, I, for a long time I didn't know what douchebag was, and then I find when I got when I figured out what it was, when I learned what it was, like that's gross. I don't want I want <laughs> I don't want to call my friend that no that's more, disgusting. man. I don't want to call him that no more, man. So, but yeah, you know, or butt plug is like, dude. That's fucking gross, dude. That goes in somebody's booty hole. But anyway, <laughs> but I'm just saying, but that's the that's the thing when you're growing up, dude. That's Conversation the kind of, derailed. Yeah, very quick, dude. Uh but no, I'm just saying that that was the I miss those innocent times, man, where you just got to go hang out with your friend, eat some pizza, and and just talk about, you know, hey, miss so and so the teacher was, you know, being a jerk to me this day, you know. Just a little shit like that. I miss those things, man, where it's just a just a little innocent things, man. But that was me. Trent, where, where'd you go, man? Where'd they drop you off? You know, I'm noticing uh, there's a, a sort of a trend with uh, with with this, and I think it's just a, a, a different age. But uh, it, it wasn't like a uh, it wasn't like a, a like a catch all like fun center. You know, it wasn't a roller rink. Although I did go um, you know, like later on, we 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 did go to uh, roller rinks and stuff. But um, the first time I remember, I'm not saying it's the first time because uh, it, it could have been just like to the movies or something. You know. Um, uh, but the first time I remember like getting dropped off and being like, okay, here's some money, hang out, you know, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll come pick you up later yeah. was, um, at a, it was at a bowling alley. Hell yeah. And, uh, and yeah, it was, good. it was, that's it was in Marshall, Texas and it was called Dylan lanes. Um, so was it automatic? Or did they have a guy that set the pants? Was it, it? it was, it was automatic, but they were old machines. They were like one of the first, uh, you know, machines that were automatic setting or whatever. Uh, so there, there was, you know, two guys in the back that would work on the machines every other throw, you know, it was like, and it, it was one of those places where like your ball would get, uh, would get, uh, caught, get caught and then, uh, it would yeah. chew it up and spit it back out and there'd be like chunks missing out of the ball and Hell stuff, yeah. you know? Oh yeah, dude. 
Uh, it was it was Dylan Lane's, and then it became uh, it became uh, something else. It was like something Family Fun Center or something like that, and then it was Maverick Lane's. Let's see that it, it's not even open anymore. The, best, the building is still yeah. there, to my knowledge, my, but it's not even open anymore. My favorite thing about bowling is the eating. The eating's the best. Oh, dude, the eating. T- name okay. <laughs> I feel like we mentioned this the last yeah, podcast, yeah, dude. But name me another sport where you can get a pitcher of beer and nachos oh, yeah. and still just have fun, dude. be good, and still do it, be good at, still it. be really good, <laughs> still be, be pro, really dude. good at it. Fucking bowl of three hundred and shit, and then you're eating nachos and shit. Hey, so um, I took bowling in college as a class. Yeah, yeah. So that's hell yeah, dude. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> it was a uh, it was a class. I got a I got an A. I think. I think. <laughs> Sure you got name. And uh, if you're listening to this podcast, yeah. I'll describe it to you. But we're, uh, if you're watching on on, yeah. uh, on, we'll on some, YouTube, we'll throw some pictures. Yeah, we'll throw some images. So oh, wow. All right, so that's the uh, yeah. that's the outside of it okay. right there. Oh, so okay. I uh, uh, we would get dropped off so, there, and if if you notice the front of it, there's no windows. Oh, it's just shit. like uh, like paneling. Mm-hmm. And so what would happen is we'd get dropped off, and we'd go inside. We'd bowl a couple of games. There was also an arcade in there, so we you know we'd we'd play in the arcade and stuff for a little bit. Uh, and they had like an old school, um, uh, like snack shack type uh, concession stand. Hell yeah. And so we'd get those nasty nachos, you know, and Frito pie. Uh, Frito pie. They had Frito pie there. Uh, it wasn't the walking kind either, it was the kind in the boat. And they put the uh, <laughs> stuff in there. Kind. But uh, we, we would go, um, we'd get our stuff and we'd go outside. And at any given, you know, weekend, you'd drive by that building and there'd just be mobs of people on the outside of that building just like hanging out. And it was just a bunch of kids. And uh, and needless to say, it was it, it it didn't last very long. I mean, it was it was not the best place for um, you know a bunch of kids to hang out after after a while. So uh, I, I I didn't get to go there very often, you was know. It, but when I did, it was a special thing. And was it a sketchy um, neighborhood? It wasn't a sketchy neighborhood. It was actually kind of a building by yeah. itself. There was okay. a bunch of trees on both sides. I, I and can stuff. see a young Trent. We got to we got to share this picture. We got I can see a young yeah. Trent hanging out in the front right there. Yeah, dude, frosted out. tips. Oh yeah, dude, frosted fucking, tips uh, and uh, Jinko jeans oh, out there dude. in the front of the. I can front. see it, dude. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we would uh, we would hang out there, and the um, uh, the uh, the the building actually the, it was on several different occasions. I, I think it was like three different occasions. Uh, there was like a fire, you know, in, in the building. Jeez. And the last time that there was a fire it was actually a pretty, pretty, you know, big fire. And, and, uh, and then the building it was, was, I don't know if it's just been condemned or torn down now or what, but it's, uh, it's not a thing anymore. That's where, Maybe you, a, that's where, you, that's where you grew up then, huh? Or that's where I grew up. Yeah. Yeah. Marshall? Yeah. Yeah. Marshall well, in and around Marshall. Yeah, Marshall okay. uh, I actually grew up right outside of Marshall, okay. uh, but that's where my family lives now okay. is Marshall. So oh, if I go yeah, see my, I if I go in, out of town that's to see my family, that's where I'm going. And oh, right on, Marshall, Texas. oh yeah, dude. We are Marshall. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Good movie. Yeah. Okay, yeah, movies. not the same place, but oh, oh, <laughs> no. I'll go with it. I will go with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it, it anyway. We'll do it anyway. Roll with it. Roll with it. Hey, did y'all hear about the uh, uh, the actor from uh, Tremors passed oh, away? Man, yeah. uh, Fred Ward, right? Fred Ward, yeah, Fred Ward, man, character actor, seventy nine years old. Um, my like I said, Johnny was telling me he kind of sparked my thing with, with interest when he did. He was Joe Dirt's dad. Joe Dirt's dad. That was a hell of a. Uh, little character role there man because you always wanted to know what joe dirt's parents look like man and uh you got a little glimpse into them with who they were you know i love trimmers one I, he and kevin bacon were you know they have one of the best lines the first one. Oh yeah oh yeah the first one yeah uh, yep. you know and because they were the kind of the i don't know what they were kind of knock around bums right yeah. yeah i like uh the line they said uh we plan ahead that way we never have to do anything right now <laughs> I, like I, like yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's, that's good words to live by. Plan ahead. That way he you was. Never, uh, you never have to do anything right now. Yeah. As long as you're planning ahead. And he was. He was nice playing daddy. A daddy role. He was also the daddy on a uh, road trip, huh? With road uh, trip. He was road trip. Road yeah. trip. He was. Uh, um. He he kind of starred a little bit uh, in Remo Williams. Yeah. I think. Remo was Williams a, was a thing. He was like he a, was a, uh, a karate karate. It was that was that martial arts martial arts yeah martial arts kind of hero. Yeah. Action hero. Yeah, man. But uh yeah, we we're losing all these uh losing solid all these, solid tough guy, yeah. right? We're losing yeah. all these stars, man. Yeah. It which scares me because that means we're getting older. So that's kind of I'm getting worried. I okay, I I wouldn't say that he was a solid tough guy. I would say he was a classic tough guy. Okay. Was like, yeah, yeah. like And that's he, what I mean by solid. Okay. Not okay. so much a, a just kind of a uh, always there solid. Yeah, you're you know? you're, you're not going to cross the street when you see him, you nah, know. Nah. But I mean, he he was he was you know, constantly the, you know, the tough guy in the, you know. In, in For the, sure. Hey, speaking of across the street. Hey, times are changing. Crossing the street? 
Crossing the street, man. Coco. Man, all things are crossing. Man, times are changing. <laughs> Coco, man. Coco, what is up? Okay. What are y'all talking about? So oh, I'm in right. Austin. I'm in Austin uh, this past weekend. And uh, sitting into a little establishment, having a drink, looking outside. I go, wow. Someone has a remote control cooler. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, so, yeah. So I go, well, wait a second. That doesn't belong to anybody that's that's there. So Coco is just rolling around in between everybody. He's got a little flag. He's got a little flag. Yeah. And it's just cooler. <laughs> and and check we'll, this out. We'll so, put all those videos up. We'll put those videos up, man. We got to so show those videos. Those we saw too. Coco three or four different times running around Austin. Yeah. Uh, evidently, this is the new technology that that is delivering food. Uh, this this remote controlled motorized cooler i'm telling you guys i i see how it works oh it's actually like somebody Wait, like that, controlling somebody's it. running it huh somebody's running that thing yeah you're right yeah you're right about that wow but, crazy dude yeah we all know austin mm -hmm. i'm not trying to be mean here but i don't know how the homeless aren't setting traps for coco <laughs> how does it make it pass? how does it make it pass I actually missed taking a video. There was a homeless guy that was actually chasing the little Coco, and, and Coco got Stop down on the gas. It, yeah, oh, dude. Coco got oh. on the gas. She and, gets it, huh? She oh, gets it, huh? Because I saw that video you sent us, and uh, when you, it, it rolled by y'all, y'all got a little too close to it, and it it hit it. It, it, hit, it. it. it hit it. It hit it. It hit it. Hit the wow. Gas. It's it's That's not smart. rolling along at walking pace. It no. can move. Yeah. So I'm just gonna tell you, you know, if Coco's rolling around with some big nice burgers or you know like a steak or or uh, you know some enchilada dinner how is the homeless population not trying to attack coco i just i just yeah. I, I just think it's going to happen yeah. right yeah i i i'm guessing it's yeah. probably like i'm guessing it's probably remotely locked well of so course and then like so you, you know because i mean I, i'm i'm with you i'm thinking you better be glad it's not advertising what's in there you know what i'm saying yeah. if if something rolls by, rolls by me or whatever and it's like you know now carrying in and out yeah. i'm like well now yeah. now i'm about to be carrying yeah, yeah. cuz i'm going to stop and grab it'd be my luck my hungry ass would catch it on the way back <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing in that damn thing no, but that, that is I, I, empty. I, 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 <laughs> Fifteen minutes or less. She she's uh, fifteen minutes or less. Look at that. Is that what dude? it says? Wow. That's that's fififteen dude. minutes or less. So that's where does it deliver from? Like any place you want? Do you? Yeah, do I you think order from. So, mm -hmm. so I, yeah, so I I think uh, I think uh, restaurants mm -hmm. um, will allow them to be uh, stored there or whatever. Like okay. they'll charge them and they'll store them at the okay. restaurants, and then they'll they'll just go and put the food out in them, and then it delivers it but, to. But think about this. I mean. There has to be, I mean, there's probably, there's kids that play video games that would probably just make tremendous Cocoa Pilots, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Genius. That's, oh, yeah. It's, just, it's, it's like genius. a real live video game. Oh, yeah. You're literally watching a screen and everything. You're just like, mm. Do you think yeah. they have countermeasures on board for attacks? Oh, there's alarms, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure there's alarms. A little pepper spray out of the back. Yeah. <laughs> it just turns into a giant grenade. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Enchiladas everywhere. That's interesting, dude. That's so that's so fascinating. I, and and we may be ignorant to it, and I might not have seen it before, yeah. and I don't. But I think that's um, my redneck ass. No, I love it. Out of it, man. No, so, I love it. I love it, man. So this thing is just rolling down. It gets to the street. The no walk sign is on. It just sits there. You know, little flag waving in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> well, John, no. Johnny's over there with his camera. Y'all check this hey, out over hey, here. Hey. Go go out. Yeah. It's uh. It's they funny. got these little machines carrying around this. Yeah, food. Me. It's um, uh, you know, it's funny that you're saying that because it's funny because some of our some of the folks that listen to our our, our show here, our podcast here, it's funny because like, who's the guy that sounds like he's from Duck Dynasty? I said that'd probably be Johnny, dude. That's probably Johnny because he's the he's the country guy, he's the yeah. country fellow. Yeah. But that's cool. It's just, it's it's a that's that's the beauty of us, man. We're three different people. I keep saying too, Jesus. You know, Trent's our what is he? No, he's 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 the he's the brains there. He's the brains. I'm the buffoon. Johnny's the country guy, you know. It's just um. Hey, let me bust but, your yeah. bubble real quick. I am not the brain. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, I, I, for, and for me, I'm like I'm more the the urban uh fucking the foul mouth piece of shit on the on the show and, <laughs> and Trent, 
you know, Trent's the more uh, well-spoken guy, but uh, man, we make it work, man, and I love it. But it was just funny to hear these comments, and I, we appreciate yeah. everybody. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. giving us feedback and telling us like that they love this, they love this part, they yeah. love they love Johnny, they love Absolutely. with Johnny's you know the way he talks and things. It's interesting because we're just three different personalities, man. It works. It, it, it's it's seamless and it works well. And uh, I like what we're doing, man. This is a lot of fun. I, I hope we keep doing this shit and uh, yeah. it's, it's a good time, man. And just people are enjoying. It. I think we're we're getting traction here. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's just a lot of fun, man. We're getting we're getting a lot of traction, man. Number eight, 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 eight. eight. Episode eight, eight. You know what I did this weekend? Uh, and I thought about this uh, a couple of minutes ago, and I was like, "Oh, I got, I got to tell these guys." Uh, watched a movie this weekend, and uh, it was probably the twentieth to thirtieth time that I've seen this movie. And every time I watch it, I laugh so hard. My cousin Vinny. Yeah, to you it is the youth. So, oh, the youth! It is you. so funny. It is so funny to me. For me, I don't. The movie can be whatever it is, but for me. I'm, I get lost in Marissa Tomain. Marissa oh, yeah. Tomain, she's, uh, I mean, not so much now, but if you ever seen her in- She uh, was good looking. Oh, she was awesome. And then uh, I always, always get flack for this, but I thought she looked good too in The Wrestler. But I always get, you ever seen The Wrestler with- uh, uh-uh. Oh, that's, uh, uh, that's, that's uh, my uh, guy, man. The Wrestler. It's a, it's a wrestling uh, movie. It's a- Golly. Mickey Rourke. Rourke. Mickey Rourke. Yeah. Mickey Rourke. And he's in there with her. And he got, I think he got, or she got some kind of awards, or he got awards for that movie. The Wrestler was really great. It showed- how a wrestling guy is washed up. Uh, he's washed up, but he's still chasing that thing. And it's, it's just, it's, it's a sad thing to see them. You know, he's past his career. He's past his prime. And he's still over there selling his VHS tapes and stuff. And it's just, it's just a sad, it's a sad movie to see where these wrestlers go. And I feel bad for those guys. Cause that's sounds how they, like, they live and breathe wrestling. That sounds like us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just, I enjoyed watching the movie just because I, yeah. I like I, the, it, there's, it's one of the first movies. It might be the first comedy that I ever watched where I felt like every scene there was like a quotable moment, mm-hmm. you know. And I, I, not even not even just the main characters. Like one of my one, one, one of my favorite moments is the third time that he approaches the uh, the the pool hustler guy or whatever, and he comes out, and the first thing you hear in the scene is him go, "Hey, hey, little Yankee wuss, I got you two hundred dollars." Yeah, and then he just like waves him yeah, off, and then like, punches yeah, him yeah, and grabs yeah. his Fuck money. Off, yeah. Uh, for me, it, so the funny. best the best line in that movie is like, "I shot the clerk." Like, I shot the clerk. I shot the clerk. I shot the clerk. That's the best. That's I, the, I shot the clerk. Yeah, and they they use that on him. Uh, but that that that's Ralph Macchio, dude. Ralph, hey, it's Ralph oh, Macchio. Yeah. We always go back to yeah. Ralph Macchio, man. He's always is a hey. theme here. He, he shows up too Ralph much Macchio, on this dude. podcast. Hey, this is his. He's podcast, showing up man. way too much. This is his podcast. We got to get some. No, uh, but uh, yeah, my cousin Vinny was great, man. I think Mr. T- Mr. Torain. <laughs> say her goddamn name whatever her name she, is. <laughs> she got an oscar or something for that for that role uh because she was just it was groundbreaking the way she she talked oh, yeah. about the posi track we're in and all that good stuff so oh, great scene that, that was yeah, such yeah, a good scene and then, yeah hey and so then, you know what i watched this weekend i was flipping two channels yeah it was on cbs on saturday night top gun they showed Top Gun Jesus. for you know to to promo you know the the new yeah. Maverick Top Gun Maverick movie. Yeah. So I hadn't seen Top Gun in a long time. It's the first time I've watched a movie um, in a long time and put up with the commercials, right? Because I'm sitting there watching it on on uh, live CBS television and the commercials, and it cut a few of the the, the good scenes, the out. good scenes or here or there out. But yeah, I watched the show, man. It was hey. good. it was good to see Top Gun again. You, you know, hear something funny. I, I, I was hovering over Top Gun mm-hmm. and I clicked on it and I was just about to hit play. And then underneath, I saw uh, my cousin Vinny and I went click. That, click that was yeah. when you watched that. I, I, okay. om- I literally was about to click play on Top Gun and I ended up watching my cousin Vinny. That's so funny. Uh, yeah. As long as you watch it on, t- on CBS, as long as they didn't cut out the, the volleyball scene, because that's the best scene, dude. When they're checking their watch and they're flexing, when they check the you watch, know what? flex, that's the best shit. I'm, I, I really think it was trimmed a little. Uh, really? On there, yeah. It trimmed the I fat. It was trimmed a little on on that. Yeah. Volleyball scenes the shit though. Val Kilmer, dude. Mm-hmm. That man. He don't look like that now. No, he don't. No, he don't, he look, don't look anything don't like, like that, that now. now. Okay, so what was his? Uh, what was Tom Cruise's name in that show? Pete Mitchell, Pete Lieutenant Mitchell. Pete. Oh, Mitchell. another another classic scene in that movie was uh, another classic scene in that movie was when they were singing that uh, that song. You lost that love, that and love and feeling. That yeah. was the shit, dude. It that, was corny as hell. Corny, but it was good. It was good though, man. That's a good shit. That's a good meat. Yeah. Hey, I was thinking about this too, uh, and because 
in that same you know list of movies or whatever, uh, or it wasn't the same list of movies. It was uh, all on. Uh, I was watching everything on on HBO, and uh, and I clicked down through, and it was uh, popular HBO movies, and I started looking through. And I mean, most of it is you know uh, movies that were just added or you know big movies right now. Uh, and one of the you know one of the first ones that pops up now is the new Batman movie. Oh sure. And um and I know we've 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 talked yeah. about this a little bit, uh, but something we haven't talked about is who who hasn't played Batman that you think would be a good Batman. Mm. Think, think about think about the actors that that ha- have not played Batman that if you were like now or it didn't have to be right now it could be like before you know or whatever you know you could say instead of um, instead of. Uh, Adam West, you know, it should have been, you know, uh, I think the Butler guy would have made a good Batman, Gerard Butler. Oh, Gerard Butler, okay, okay. Like a Batman. His, hey, 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 his face is kind of too round for it, though, huh? He's got a weird ass mouth too. He's got a weird tweaky mouth, like his mouth is kind of tweaked, like he's kind of okay. Stroke scratch that kind of stroke. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> I mean, you take you take his three hundred body, just, oh, yeah, you, know, yeah, you yeah, put yeah, it on there, whatever. Tall, tall, yeah, dark hair. Okay, okay, I take it back. I can see it. I can see it. He's got the nose for it. Yeah. It's Batman. Uh, knows for you it. know what? I would have taken. You know, I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go off on a weird ass limb here. And I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm not gonna say John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. For the for hey. the folks that listened last week, yeah, hey, Gotham's Wonderland. Hey, uh, <laughs> I would go with. I, I would go with uh, Matthew Lillard. Matthew, Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard. Yeah. Okay. Matthew Lillard. I would like that. He's weird. You know why I say Matthew Lillard? Because he was so creepy in a uh, uh, screen when he's like. Uh, I'm I'm dying here. Like he, the, that the, when he's acting in that, and he's like spitting up his spit and shit, and like he's got to. Okay, gotta, okay. Are are you saying like um? Are you saying like are you saying like uh like Dark Knight? I'm getting woozy. style or like uh or like Batman Forever style? Uh, I would say uh like goofy Batman, or uh, you mean like a more serious type Batman? Probably more serious because he can be serious. He can be serious. He's a hell of an actor. Okay. Uh, when he was in, I don't know if you're in. Nobody's seen this movie, but me and Jen, uh, Jennifer. It's called SLC Punk. And when he was in that movie, he did a role, he did a part where he was his buddy died. His buddy died. I've and, seen that by the way. And he was crying. And when he was crying, he's like snotting and shit. And that shit was real. Yeah. And it got me choked up because I thought it was, I thought it was a solid role, man. I thought it was a solid piece. That part is like top notch for me. You know, I don't but, think it matters though because uh, uh, Tom Brady already has the contract <laughs> to be the next Batman. That's true, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I yeah. believe it. I, I was gonna. I, he's I was under contract say, when he retires. He's gonna be the. He's gonna be uh, the next twenty years Batman. <laughs> yeah, because he's just gonna. He's just eventually. He's gonna be too young for the role. <laughs> they're not, they're not gonna, <laughs> no, I was gonna say, uh, um, Keanu Reeves. Okay. Yeah. I think okay. Keanu Reeves would have made a a, a really yeah, good bad. Batman. Yeah. You think about him in like John Wick or whatever, yeah. but like like without the beard, you know. Yeah. Or leave the beard on. Who cares? Who cares if Batman has a beard? But like uh put him in a Batman mask. He's got the you know the jaw for mouth. it. I think he's got, got the mouth. nose for it. You think he's not he always has a grunge look though, right? Yeah. But Batman is like a put together like black tie guy, right? Not in the new film. Okay. In the new film it's super emo. Yeah. Like that right there. That yeah. that would have been a good very right good Okay. Uh, I think that would have been it, a was good it Devil's Advocate. Batman. Devil's Advocate, he did really he looked really good in Devil's Advocate. Yeah. That was with the uh because he, he has that sort of like mysterious kind of a you know mm-hmm. voice and accent and whatever and like all his like uh you know all his serious acting shit like whatever. As long as he doesn't do that, as long as he doesn't do whoa, you know, he's like yeah, yeah. his little the, whoa. <laughs> yeah, as long as he doesn't do that, we're good. As long as he doesn't do that shit, we're good. Yeah. No, he was yeah. he's got a hell of a he's got a good jawline, good Look mouth. At that, man. Good mouth. Good Look at that's Bruce Wayne right there. Look at that. He's all sharp, clean cut. I, I, I didn't I didn't good think call. about good call. That's I good didn't call. think about this question and then think uh Keanu Reeves. I, I saw a, a, a movie poster with Keanu Reeves, and I thought, oh, you know what? You would have made a really good Batman. I think so. I think so. So, you know, just real quick about the Maverick show. Oh, are you guys excited about that? Are you going to watch it or not? Or you don't care? Uh, no, no. Uh, for me, I think, didn't they take off some uh, on his jacket? See, this is what I heard. They t- on the jacket, they took some of the, some of the flags off there, like the... The Japanese flag and or the Japan flag. What? Because it was kind of offensive or something. So, so on his jacket, if you look at no, up, I haven't like, heard any of this. Yeah, I think I heard. I mean, I don't give a shit. I mean, it's either way, but I'm just saying it's just like don't, you know, can you just leave shit alone? Like, why do you gotta take shit off the, you know, like it's on his jacket, hard. he had like the, the Japan flag and they took that off there. And that's what some of the talks were that that, that was a big uh a thing that they're gonna change up because it was offensive. Too politically. Yeah, and woke. I, I hate Maverick go woke. 
I forgot that was even on the oh, back dude. of his jacket. Yeah, dude. And then uh, also, too, did you hear about uh, Netflix? Netflix is like, if uh, they're not doing, I'm not trying to get political, but Netflix was talking about recently, I think it was the other day, they were talking about uh, if uh, they're not going to do the woke thing anymore because it's not making money. So if you don't want, if you're woke and you don't want to work here, you don't have to work here anymore in Netflix. Uh, and it's funny how these things yeah. just flop, it's flop, flop, flop. Yeah, it's just, it's but, just. But trends. you know what? If trends. it never would have started, just leave it alone. Let 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 people let cool stuff yeah. be cool yeah, stuff, man. And the new movie, the pat, uh, the patch that has uh, the U.S. and the U.N. flag, uh, U.N. flags, but no Japanese or Taiwanese flags will be on there anymore. Wow. Yeah. A, it's not a big deal. It's just, it's just those shows. It's like, dude, it's just Taiwan, a movie. man. It's hey, what movie, about uh, dude. what about um, uh, John Cena? Uh, who, oh yeah, who, he had he had to literally uh, post an apology video mm-hmm. because to, he posted an apology video to China because he uh, recognized uh, Taiwan as a country, mm-hmm. and then he went back and did this uh, big apology video to China because he was releasing a movie in China, and so he needed to cater to yeah. you know uh, the the you know the Chinese government Dollars. by not saying of course he did whatever. right. But yeah, that's what I, but no, I am excited for Top Gun. It's, it's nostalgia for me. It's being yeah, yeah. for me, bringing it's, it it's, back. Dude. Yeah, you know, nostalgia. The Top you know, Gun. Okay, it, that's that's hit or miss though, because there's a lot of people that say you know don't 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 mess it up. Yeah. Like leave it alone. Don't don't mess because it up. This is one of those. This is a sequel that's happening. How many years later? Yes, yeah. thirty six. I think it's thirty six years. Thirty six years later. There's a lot of people that would say that's too late. Leave it alone. Don't mess it up. You know. Save it for another thirty years yeah. and do a new generation of it, you know, or something. Yeah, but and this is but this is a conti- you know continuation with Tom Cruise, right? You know, half of the other st- uh, people that are in the show they can't be in the show. Tom Cruise is the only one that only looks like he's aged five years, right? Yeah, also five foot three or something like five that. Foot three. I bet he runs in this show one hundred percent. Does he? Every movie he runs full blast in every movie. Every movie. I brought this up the other day uh, to to some people uh, at an event that uh, that I w- that I was hosting, and and uh, it was a, a, sp- a specific movie. And I don't remember what movie it was off the top of my head, but I asked because I thought, oh, this is the only movie he hasn't run in, and unanimously everybody was like, oh no, he it was this scene, blah blah blah, and I was like, oh, you're right, he runs in every movie. At Gaston. some point, he runs full Gaston. blast. He's running. Oh, oh it was Top Gun. It was, Top Gun was the movie that I brought up. I was like, where, where did he run in Top Gun? It was the foot race that he did with uh, uh with Val Kilmer. They did a foot race. You know what? I think that was cut out on the. Uh, oh, was it the deal the other night? Because yeah. I was actually watching for that. Yeah. Running from Scientology. They were walking back from the uh, from the planes or whatever, and he was like, "I was faster" or something like that. I forget the the lines. Yeah. And, uh, and then they they ended up doing this foot race or whatever. Uh, Days of Thunder. He raced. Oh, he raced. He yeah. raced in yep, there. Yeah. Yep. Every every Mission Impossible. He's. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's and hanging off the side of planes and. Yeah. All he stuff. does his own stunts, man. Does his own stuff. He did. I don't think he does anymore. Because I know he was on the plane of the last uh, 007. He was on the plane on the wing, and he was doing that. So I don't know. The Mission Impossible? Oh, Mission Impossible. My yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. Something about it. He can run, though. He can run. Mission Impossible. Oh, um, uh, Interview uh, with the Vampire. Did he run in that one? I don't, I don't know, know if he, he ran. ran in that one. I don't know if he ran to uh, You know what? I'm, I'm, I wouldn't bet anyone <laughs> that he didn't run. I, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. <laughs> I would because I mean, the whole time I'm sitting here thinking like I'm fixing to present yeah. this question and yeah. he was in a plane the whole time so obviously he didn't run and they were like oh no the foot race and I was like yeah, yeah no he ran from the he definitely ran. all A to yeah <laughs> no he was running somewhere he had a dream he was running somewhere Dude, at some point we gotta have a uh, we gotta, at some point we have a podcast just about Scientology we gotta do it man can we, we get a Scientology one hey let's get that let's get a guest um, that lady from. Uh, the king of queens. I'll get nothing done if we have her in here. Nothing will get done. Nothing will get done if she's in here. Dude. Is it Lisa Remy? Yeah. Or whatever. Hey, Leah. If, Leah, if, Leah Remini. Leah. If Leah. you've never listened to her documentary on that, eh, it's, it's worth, solid. It's worth it. It's worth it. Worth it. Scientology is, man. I don't. Hey, believe what you want to believe. Hey, I like science fiction. It's out there. I like it. I like science fiction. I like volcano uh, volcanoes and shit. I like it. Did y'all see the uh, the lunar eclipse? Last night, a blood moon, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, was, it, was, it was wicked, dude. Yeah. It was wicked. I wanted to get photos, but I didn't get. It. Uh, is he running? Hey, oh you, man, he ran, dude. He in, ran. In interview oh, yeah, with the vampire, on. Hey, hold on, he ran. Oh, look, there he goes. Oh, look at that, he did. Oh, he it was sure a, did. Hey, hey. it was quick. It was hey, quick, it was but quick. he did. Golly, dude, he's gonna do it. Hey, it's he's gonna, gonna be in there. Do you think at some point he said? I bet it's not even scripted. That he just does it. He just does it. I'm gonna run. That's it. I don't think he says it. I think he just does it. That's that, that's that Nick Cage acting. 
He just does whatever he wants. Man, I'm ready. Maverick. Uh, was it like May something? May 20 something he comes out. There's a lot, there's like, there's there's a lot of good movies coming out, actually. They're, they're, uh, in the next, I think it's a, because you know COVID happened or whatever, and so everything got pushed yeah. back. Everything yep. got tabled or whatever. Yep. And now all of a sudden, everything's starting to flood the market and, and whatever. There's going to be a lot of movies coming out. And then just a side note here. Um, uh, I think it's tomorrow or something. I don't know when this, when we ever we air this or whatever. But before we air that, before we air this, we're gonna have images of us having uh, the Mexican pizza. Taco Bell's bringing back the Mexican pizza. So we're, we're doing gonna, that next week. Yeah. So we're gonna have some. We're gonna be eating the Mexican pizza. Yeah, man. And uh, I know Johnny never had it. Never had it. Are, are we gonna do it in the episode? I'd like to. Or we get some photos of us eating stuff in our faces with Mexican pizzas. But I miss it. Yeah. It's it's a uh, it's an iconic. Uh, Dish. I, I don't know if it would make for great podcasting for us to eat while we're talking. No, no, no. Maybe Photos. we'll do it before the podcast yeah. starts with some pictures, and oh, we'll yeah. talk about it when the when the oh, podcast yeah. starts. I love to listen to people with their mouths full, <laughs> smacking them, smacking them. Yeah, it's a it's yeah. a Mexican pizza is a, is a classic, man. It's a, like I said again, it's a classic dish. It needs to come it, back. Is it is it gourmet food? Heavens no, it's from Taco Bell. But is it delicious? Of course, because it's designed to be delicious, oh, yeah. right? So it's it's gonna be great. It's Kim looking man made. It's ready to go. I'll give it. A, I'll try. It. I'll try it. Out. Yeah, all right. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. All good? right, guys. Anything, yeah. anything else we're before uh, before we wrap it up? That's I'm it. good, man. Uh, just follow us on the 52, man. Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, because uh, Musk is taking over, getting better on on Twitter there. Uh, just give us a follow, man. And then on the uh, on the YouTube comment. Yeah, uh, yeah, if if you're if you're watching on YouTube, um, if if well, well, let me say this: if you're listening, uh, you know, try the try the uh, the YouTube channel. Um, uh, don't do it obviously when you're driving, but if you're driving, listen to it. But uh, if if you're just sitting at home, like you know, chilling, you check out the YouTube channel because we, we're going to put up videos. We got pictures of the things that we're talking about. You get a chance to interact with the uh, with the episode and you know that kind of thing. Share it with your friends. Throw some comments down below and uh, and let us know some things that you want to um, uh, that you want to uh, talk about. Anything that you want to uh, you know to bring up. Keith, where can people follow you on social media? Uh, Talented Savage on Instagram. Johnny MX four two nine Instagram. Real Trent Graves. This has been the Fifty Two Podcast, Episode Eight. We'll check you next time. Adios. I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. <laughs>